at 318 of the second round, and Shayna was not happy, and her coach Ronda Rousey was even more unhappy. Flipped out and said that she was going to hurt Misha Tate for every smile that she smirked after winning that fight. So it's only going to get more intense from here. And next week, the men have to face off. Chris Beal, who has a hurt hand right now, will be facing Chris Holdsworth. So Misha Tate's going to try to run the table. But we'll see if Ronda can turn the tide and get back control. Now, moving on to Bellator 99. We opened up with Sunderland, England's own Andrew Fisher fighting the Guam fighter Baby Joe Timangalo. Actually, he fights out of California, but he flew a Guam flag after the fight, and he had a good reason to because he won 30-27 times 2 and 29-28. It was kind of a surprising result because Fisher was the bigger fighter in the cage, but Timangalo was not intimidated by giving up 5 inches in height or how many inches in reach that he did because he was swinging harder, and Fisher just seemed to be standing there waiting for the exchanges, and that didn't pay off because every time they traded, he got caught. So, a bad showing for Fisher, who goes down to defeat, and Time Anglo, Baby Joe, advances into the semifinal round of the featherweight tournament. And the next featherweight quarterfinal, we had Justin the Silverback Wilcox going up against Acop Stepanian, and Stepanian was beating the dog shit out of him in the first round until... Wilcox was able to turn it around, get a bank mount, and take the rear naked choke to finish him off in round two. The official time of the submission was 2 minutes and 12 seconds. In our third fight of the night, a light heavyweight feature bout, Houston the Assassin Alexander took on Vladimir the Janitor Matt Yashenko. And the first two rounds were pretty close. The second round was absolutely nothing. I would have scored it a 10-10 if I were a judge. And in the third round, Matt Yashenko finally started to take over. But this was not a super exciting fight. I think the most exciting thing that happened was that Alexander got a takedown in the first round, which nobody on commentary saw coming. Despite that, Matt Yashenko did just enough with clinches and punches and knees to get the unanimous decision. The scores were 29-28 and 30-27 times 2. That leads us to another featherweight quarterfinal, Des Green versus Fabricio Guerrero. Guerrero pretty handily won this fight. I was just... Stunned by Des Green's inability to get any takedowns until late in the rounds. They thought maybe the judges might screw up and actually give a round, but the only round where it was even competitive was the third, and that was just because at that point, Guerrero started coasting. He thought he had it in the bag and didn't really do anything. Turned out he did. All three judges scored it 29-28 across the board. Last but not least, in our main event of the evening, newcomer to Bellator Diego Nunez took on Patricio Pitbull, and this was not a long fight. Patricio landed a left hand right to the ear that dropped Nunez and finished it on the ground quickly. The official time was 1.17 of the first round by knockout. Oh, and incidentally, I should mention that the chokeout Justin Wilcox got was a technical because his opponent refused to tap. That's Bellator 99 and the Ultimate Fighter. I'm Stevie J.